What's up guys, it's Geeks Corner here. Today we're going to be looking at a new app called Live HD Now that's just literally hit the iPhone store for TV OS or also known as Apple TV 4. Now this is the first time we're installing this onto the Apple TV so we're going to have a look live together at what this app is actually like. So as you can see, you've got to install it from your computer using iFunbox as you would normally. And it's once it's installed, it'll come up onto your screen. Scroll down. There you go, Life HD now. So we click on there. Now straight away, it plays the first channel it's on. Uh, I've disabled the sound just be able to hear me on here. So you've got France 24, you've got your Eurosport, you've got your NASA TV as well, you've got your NFL Now, where you've got your live talk show at the moment, you've got ABC7, the Food Network, so as you can see quite a good choice here. You've got a lot of American news stations, including your CNN, You get some music channels as well. Scroll up here to the at the drive-in movies. And this is two and a half men. Now the sound is actually playing, but the picture is not moving at the moment. I'm not quite sure why that is. Let's just go and have a look at another channel there. Okay, so let's have a look now at some other channels. See if anything else has any problems. As you can see, there's quite a few channels on here. Let's try the sci-fi, that works fine, sound quality is pretty good. So it could be just that channel that's not playing correctly at the moment, oops. Okay, so to get back, you don't press the menu option, because that will take you to the main menu, you just click on the mouse. So as you can see, pretty good quality there, and you have a good list of options and stuff to watch. Now I wouldn't say this is going to be a live box replacement at the moment but it's definitely got some potential on there so by all means check it out if you're an iPhone store customer. Uh, if you're not we're going to put a link in the description below and how you can do that. So you do have to remove it from the multitasking for it to be updated. The developer says they can update the links twice a day so it should keep those links fresh anyway. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.